Hello, everybody. Today, we are talking about ecological concepts. Ecological concept. There, here is a question. We will read the question, then explain terms, then return to solve the question again. It refers to the following ecological concept. Here are definition, parasitism, commensalism, mutualism, competition, predation. These definitions for all each terms, we will find in our question which one of them are suitable for these terms. Number one, Moses live on tree trunk and do not harm the tree. Number two, acacia trees provide food and shelter for stinging ants that help protect the trees from other insects. Number three, a clownfish regularly avoid predators by living in shelter of sea anemones that eat bites of food dropped by the fish. Let's here take a look about what is the meaning of parasitism. Parasitism is the symbiotic relationship. In a parasitism, one organism, the parasite, benefits while the other host is harmed. So which one of them is harmed? This harmed, this organism harmed, and this organism benefits. While the other host is harmed, parasites often live exclusively on or in, in their host organism. Parasitism is different from predation because parasites do not kill their hosts. Parasitism is a relationship between two organisms wherein one organism, the parasite, thrives at the cost of the other, the host. Here is an example of parasitism. This organism is get benefit from this organism. Is that a human? And human gets harmed. That's why we call this relationship is a parasitism. Another terms we have to know it. it is what is commensalism. Commensalism is a type of relationship between two living organisms in which one organism benefits from the other without harming it. Let's see this example. It's a frog and a tree. Tree frogs use plant as a protection. So frog get protected from the plant, but the plant didn't harm it from the frog. Another example, cattle egret eats the insect steered by the cattle when they are grazing. So this organism didn't harm it from egret, but this organism gets benefits. Another example, golden, juggles once they have been expelled from the pack why will trail a tiger to feed one to feed one the remains of its kill another example of commensalism example of commensalism is Moses live on tree trunks and do not harm on the tree. So the tree didn't harm it from the Moses, but the Moses get the benefits from the tree. So that's why we call it commensalism. Another example, acacia tree. Acacia tree provide food and shelter for stinking ants that help protect the trees from other insects.
Here are clownfish. Clownfish regularly avoid predator by living in shelters of sea anomalies that eat a bit of food dropped by fish. So, so the relationship between both are mutualism. The relationship between both are mutualism. The fish get benefits from sea anomalies and sea anomalies get benefits from the fish. So let's here solve this question. Number one, A, parasitism. This term, parasitism, which of them Which of them suitable for this, for this definition? Let's see it. Moses live on the tree trunk and do not harm the tree. No, this is not suitable for parasitism. Acacia tree provide food and shelters for stinging ants that help protect the trees from other insects. This is not suitable for parasitism too. A clownfish regularly avoids predator by living in shelter of, the, of sea anomalies that eat bits of food dropped by the fish. This is a not suitable for this term too. Let's turn to B, B commensalism. Commensalism Moses live on the tree trunk and do not harm the tree. So that's it. That says commensalism because the tree didn't harm from the Moses, but Moses benefits from the tree. So we call this So we call this commensalism. 1b 1b Okay. See mutualism. Mutualism, let's see which of them are benefits are definition terms of mutualism. Acacia trees provide food and shelter for stinging ants that help protect the trees from the other insects. Yes, it is. To see mutualism. So this definition is suitable for mutualism. So here we can call one B to solve it and two C two C. Okay. Remain number three. A clownfish regularly avoid predators by living in shelter of sea anomalies that eat bits of food dropped by the fish. Sea anomalies, let's hear concentrated. Sea anomalies eat bits of food dropped by fish. So both of them get benefits from each other. So this relationship between clownfish and sea anomalies, hmm? Yes, mutualism, mutualism. So we can solve it also 3C, 3C. Okay, students, now we solve example that questions, you can see it in the in set questions. Thank you and study well. Good luck.